doing another band box today. Just came in uh, yesterday. Didn't have time to unbox it, and I really, really, really wanted to, but it didn't work out. But I'm doing it today. I'm super excited. I've been really involved in the uh, band box community where you do trades and you can sell other nerdy items, items that you have. Um, but they've got a no spoilers rule, which I, I love. But everybody's getting so excited about what's in this box that I have been super pumped on waiting for what is coming. And I don't really want to dilly dally. I just want to get into it. And do the fold flap, flap fold. Remove the paper. Now, one thing I want to say before getting into the box is that this is the first box that they have done that's theme free. So they're just picking um, whatever they want, whether it's a video game here, a movie here, a nerdy genre here, a comic here, and they're just putting the, those items into the box. They're no longer doing a generic theme like Space Defend or unlikely heroes or any, anything like that like it's just gonna be hey I feel like doing Ghostbusters this time I feel like doing this and there should be a Ghostbuster item a Sharknado item uh, was it the Killing Joke Joker or just the Joker um, something to that effect I think it was it was one of the two um, there is a Witcher, right? and then I don't remember any of the others. So, let's get into it. I see right off the bat that the pin this month is a Bender pin from Futurama. And I don't know if this is the limited edition one or not. Um, they all say limited edition enamel pins now, so like you can't really, I don't really know if it's the, the amped up one or not. But this is the bender head. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, Futurama. Um, and it's okay if there's nothing else on TV, but I don't then generally go towards it. I know a lot of my friends, 99.9% .9 of them are Futurama fans and yell at me for not being one, but that is... I actually like the way they did the pin, though. They did the uh, uh, museum head variety pin, um, so I'm wondering if all the other pins are also the same variety for Futurama. Um, there is a shark in here, and it's in a bag. Assuming this is the Sharknado item. I've never seen Sharknado, so I don't know what it is. I can't imagine I would be into it because it's really weird. Um, movie, but it is. Oh, my dog is up to the corner where it immediately perked up when she heard it. Uh, but it is signed by somebody. I'm not sure who. But there's the signature. Let's go ahead and take a look. The shark has been hand signed by Tara Reed, who has played April Wexler in the Sharknado movies. It was signed during a private signing with the band box. Now, I'm not too big of a fan of Tara Reid nowadays. Um, I was a huge fan of hers. Every teenage boy was a huge fan of hers when she took part in the um, American Pie series. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to check out Sharknado. I'm going to have to just watch it, sit down and watch it, and see if uh, I like it. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with the person who signed it, like, because I'm not really into her now, but I loved her back then, so I love the item, but I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just on the fence, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Uh, next item out of the box is a Hawaii driver's license for, um, McLovin's, McLovin's, McLovin, from Superbad, and Although I loved the movie Superbad, I found it really entertaining. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, when it comes, they, they seem to always throw some sort of movie prop into the box. 
Uh, in the past, we've gotten a Hannibal Ector mask. Uh, we got the Luchador mask um, from uh, Nacho Libre. Um, you get the dice and top set from Inception. I don't know, those are the, the items that I really don't like out of the boxes normally. Um, very few. I, I enjoyed the Luchador mask. Uh, I actually wore it around the house. I don't know, just just to be weird and funny, but most of the props are just toss-aways for me. And this is, although I love the, the movie, it's just a toss-away for me. Not really anything I'm too hyped about. Uh, next item out of the box is Vigo Patch from Ghostbusters 2. Um, not the best quality patch that I've... I've run across. We've been getting a lot of patches in a lot of our boxes lately. I got a Thundercats one, a Goonies one, an Alien one. Um, those all seem to be really good quality. Um, this one seems a little thin and, and kind of flimsy and, and almost weird. Uh, but I love, love Vigo from the Ghostbuster movies and uh, he's one of my favorite characters. He's just, he's a badass. So I, I love the design of the item. Um, I just don't know if the quality is there. But I, I'm not an aficionado with patches, so I don't know. Um, this could be one of the better quality patches, and the ones that I've been receiving, the thicker ones, um, I don't know. <laughs> so, moving on from there, we got a box that says Dark Matter Props. So... This is a BAM box edition. I'm not sure what this is. No plastic. In the bottom of the box, it says The Witcher Wild Hunt. It's a Witcher Wolf medallion. That's the little plaque. Comes with a little like velvet pouch carrying case. And let's take a look at this one. It's not bad. I, I, I really like the um, the sort of like design and logo of the Witcher icon. Um, it is kind of like a mold with a hollow back, which I kind of don't like. Um, but it is solid metal. It's the wolf head. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but I'll, I'll take a picture of it. And the eyes are glowing red, and it's solid metal. So, it is definitely high quality. I can't imagine actually wearing this around my neck, though, because I have a feeling that every which way I turn, I would get stabbed. Um, it would make for an adventurous day. Yeah. But I actually really like this item. This, this item is hitting home with me. I, I played Witcher 1, and I, I liked it. It wasn't the best. But I, I definitely want to move on to Witcher 2 and Witcher 3. So I look forward to looking onto those, moving onto those, and playing those on my channel as well. Um, but I really like the, the design and the item for Witcher, Witcher 3. This is the spoiler book. Is that the design? Because there is one more item in the box. And uh, this looks like the Joker print. And it looks a lot similar to the Killing Joke album that we got uh, in a past box. So I'm going to assume it is from the Killing Joke. And it looks like it is signed in almost like a bright orange down here at the bottom. I really like the way this print is done. So this is an awesome item out of the box as well. That is it. Love the print this month. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we are supposed to be receiving. Uh, there is the Bambox head it's in jars for the pins. Looks like Bender is just the regular one. Um, then the next level one would be... Uh, oh, what is it? Is it Zoid Zoidberg? Zoid I'm trying to remember the names. Zoidberg? Um, in another one, and Leonard Nimoy in the third one. Um, I, did, I love Leonard. Leonard Nimoy would hit two 
like be an acceptable one for me because it is a Star Trek item and I love Star Trek. Uh, so like I would have liked that one. So the just being a Futurama uh, one that um, falls a little short. Uh, then we have the prop replica for Witcher. Uh, dog tags from Dark Matter props. I mean, it doesn't really scream dog tags to me. This is, yeah, I would say, just like a, a logo prop or a, a logo, metallic logo. Necklace, I wouldn't call him a dog tag, but... Uh, Uh, it looks like there might be a, a silver version. This is black. But it says, These custom hand-finished Witcher medallions are a silver symbol of the Witcher's profession. And the picture on here looks very silver. So I'm wondering if there's a silver and a black one. It doesn't show that there are two different versions, but um, there possibly could be. Um... Tara Reid burst into the scene playing Vicky in American Pie, which is, like I said, my fandom of her. Um, that will never change. She plays April Wexler in the Sharknado movies, um, and she is assigned the shark. So, I don't know. I am a huge fan that they are actually getting other items signed. Like, it's not just prints. Now I'm going to contradict myself. I kind of wish Tara Reid was a print. I don't know if I, I really want a toy squeaky shark signed. I love that they're signing other items than just prints, but I think in this particular case I would have preferred a print. Um, I love how they did the hockey puck for the Mighty Ducks. I, I fully agree with that one. Um, what other ones have they done? I love that... Uh, I, I was a little iffy on the, the turtle shell. Um, I wanted the turtle shell, I got the turtle shell, um, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a better quality turtle shell. Um, but I love that they did it on a turtle shell, that was awesome. Uh, the signed Funko Pop was an awesome for the Night King for Game of Thrones. Um, but I love that they're actually switching it up between like prints and other items that they sign. I just prefer that the Tara Reid signature came on a print. I don't know if I feel... 100% okay with the shark on this one. Uh, that being said, uh, they got an advertisement in here for their new horror box, um, which I'm glad that they're doing that because I was actually kind of getting tired of the non-stop Jason stuff that we were getting in our normal boxes. So um, I don't think I'll be going for the horror box. Um, horror, I like some horror, but I, I'm very not a huge fan of horror, so. I'll stick to just the regular box and getting all these items and I'm glad that I won't hopefully I won't see a whole lot more more Jason stuff because they have been doing it to the max a little bit too much for me um, moving on we got the Joker print um, is what I received there is also another variant print which uh, was an ancient Chinese duel, which, I don't know, it seems a little confusing. It's a cool design. They did it sort of like a Batman as a samurai uh, warrior style. Um, I just The scene is a little confusing. It almost looks like the Joker is protecting a woman on the shore, or is she being held hostage, or is... Or is that supposed to be Harley Quinn? I just noticed the coloration of it. Uh, it is red and black, so it might be Harley Quinn. That is interesting. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But uh, definitely an interesting take on it. Uh, maybe I'll go for both. Um, we got the McLovin Hawaii Driver's License Prop Replica. Chicka chicka yeah! Everyone remembers the iconic scene from where Fogel becomes McLovin with his fake ID from Hawaii. Uh, now you can have one too. Um, like I said, just movie prop, cheap plastic, nothing special. 
those were the items in the box. No, I'm just kidding. There's one more on the back. Uh, the Ghostbusters uh, is a fan art created patch of Vigo the Carpathian. So, one of my favorite characters in Ghostbusters 2, I believe. Yeah, I think it was the second one. Um, I love the design of the patch. This is an awesome art fan patch. I'm just unsure of the quality. So, there's that. Uh, there's a contest to win a uh, Boba Fett metallic photo, which I would die to have. Love Boba Fett. But he wasn't my favorite character, but uh, I mean, I've always been a Han Solo fan. Uh, I was a huge fan of Chimwit Iwi Imwi. I believe I'm probably butchering his name, but he was the the, the monk from the uh, Rogue One movie. Um, and they are now, um, they have a new 1-up system, uh, if you get a green 1-up card in your box, that just means something in your box was 1-upped. Um, I miss the old system where the red mushroom meant you got an art print, the yellow mushroom meant you got a special item, green was a pen, blue was the autographed item, so... I don't know, I miss that. I would love that to come back, but um, I don't know if that was just a bad system that they were using or if there are any issues with that, but um, I like that some form of the 1-Up came back. So I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little quick rating on all the items before we go. Um, let's start start off with the McLovin um, driver's license. I'm going to go with the 2 out of 10 just because it's cheap. It's a plastic prop. Not really a whole lot of value there for me. Um, next I will do the Witcher uh, medallion. I actually really like this item. Is it wearable to me? Is it, Does it have an actual function other than display for me? No. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 just for those reasons. Um, really like the design. I love that they did like a necklace out of it, but I'll just have to find a way to display it. Uh, so that takes care of that. The patch, I love the character, but it's it's still a quality concern for me, so I'm going to say 6 out of 10 for the patch. Um, the vendor uh, pin, enamel pin, uh, I like the pin design, but I'm not a fan of Futurama, so I'm going to go a 5 out of 10 for the bandbox pin. I would have liked Leonard... Nimoy uh, more. I would have gotten that one a lot more. Um, the shark, I like the signature. I'm going to go a 7 out of 10 for the Sharknado item. I have some concerns with it, but um, maybe it's all on how I display it that I, I fall in love with it or, or whatnot. And then finally, the Joker um, print. Um, I, I like both of them. Um, I think I'm glad I got this one. This one, I think I like more. But then, I don't know, the more and more I think about the, the, the dual print, I like it. I, I'm still going to... I'd, I'd give them both an 8 out of 10. So, I think this is my definitely winning item that I, I got out of the box. So, that's going to do it. I have another unboxing sitting behind me. I don't know if it's in the shot or not that I'm going to be doing later on today. Um, so I will see you in my next unboxing video. And that was the Bambox. Later, dudes!